Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Meet the Chimps. Uh, this is not a movie, as it was indicated to me in yesterday's episode. Uh, sorry, it's a National Geographic series. It's uh, from 2020. Uh, who knew? It's kind of brand new. It's one season so far. It's uh, got six episodes. They're about 41, 45 minutes each, I guess. Um, the one I watched, I watched one episode. It was only 41 minutes long. Um, and it tells the story of a number of chimps who live in Chimp Haven, which is a facility. It sounds so medical. It, it's a, a refuge. Uh, I forget what the term they use, but it live, they live in a place in deep in the woods of Louisiana where it's the biggest habitat. It's a habitat. That's what I want to say. It's a habitat. The biggest habitat in the world for chimps. And uh, it's got... A number of different fam families and enclosures and all sorts of personalities when it comes to the different uh, chimps that live inside. It's narrated by Jane Lynch. You'll recognize her from um, being Jane Lynch. She's done a lot of stuff. She's done so many, so many things. Glee is probably what made her the most famous. Uh, but in this, we get to see characters like Riley, who is a younger male in an all-female uh, enclosure. Uh, and he gets to get away with everything. And there's uh, a little one, I can't remember her name offhand, but she's she's like two years old, she's the youngest, and nobody gives her any slack. She's got to learn how to fight for herself uh, when the food comes out. You know, they're fed, obviously. Uh, and uh, all the alphas and the, the big guys take control of everything and grab all the best food. And if she even dares to sometimes grab something near somebody else, they'll chase her down. It's it's horrible uh, for this little little girl to to have to struggle to eat. Uh, her mom helps out a little bit, but not much. It's a uh, pretty. There are distinct personalities in each of these, and this is also not just about the the chimps, but also the crew that takes care of them. Uh, they. In this story, there's a number of different threads that go through this, and one guy does ex explain this as uh, when taking care of chimps like this, it's like watching a soap opera. And the way they, you know, cut this together and the way Jane narrates it, of course, uh, they pick out some of the more interesting pieces to, to talk about and make it seem like a very real Kardashians-level um, drama. And okay, not that bad. Not, like, horrible human beings bad, but, you know... Fun, chimps, friendly. Uh, well, okay, some of them are curmudgeonly, some of them are greedy, some just want to lay around in the sun and do nothing. Uh, but, you know, ones like Riley can't get enough of just climbing and jumping and presenting, as they like to say, doing all these things to show off and uh, just cause trouble, stir up trouble. And Riley is probably one of the best also at uh, testing their security. Uh, they. <clears throat> In the process of this first episode, they build a new enclosure that uh, they're about to move Riley and some of the other ones into, uh, and they have to have professional climbers test these walls to see if they can get handholds to climb up these walls. Of course, they have their bungee cords and everything else, and the walls are barely maybe two, three stories high at most, but still, chimps can get some of the most slightest holds and make their way to the top of the wall and over if they if they really wanted to. Of course, they I don't know if they understand that they wouldn't get fed as easily anymore. And, and there is a reason why they're in enclosures. There's so many of them. They all came from research facilities, uh, from testing, lab testing, and things like that. And uh, they're allowed to live out the rest of their lives in a secure environment uh, within a family that uh, that can help them live a happy and harmonious life. For however many years they have, the oldest I think is like thirty-two, <clears throat> and she's she's like the the alpha, the alpha alpha of everybody. Uh, she she gets everything she needs. Um, yeah, she, but the thing is, they they explain, you know, hey, why don't you just release them back into the wild? Well, they were pretty much born born in captivity for the most part. Um, were part of you know testing and things like that, and if they were released in the wild, they would not have the skills to survive. They would be gone like that not a Thanos kind of gone but probably all of them not just half of them all of them uh, 
uh, would, would not last very long. So uh, it, it's a it's kind of an interesting place to see. I've never imagined it would be like in the woods of Louisiana. But uh, yeah, there's a, a number of a big team that takes care of them, watches them, knows them all, each by their faces. Uh, the only thing I could not stop seeing was their butts. They're just so many big protruding butts. So yeah, there's a lot of butts, monkey butts, chimp butts in this. But yeah, after a while, I did sort of be able. I could tell who they were if I muted it. I could probably tell who they were before they before I, they put the name up on the screen. But yeah, it's. Uh, I imagine all six episodes uh, go through all the different dramas uh, that they, they all go through. There's one uh, named Midge. He is uh, Midge, which it's a female name, but he's male. I don't know, but he is. Uh, he lost his uh, partner. His his best friend in another um, place and they transferred him here to have a new family and it's one of the best things for chimps uh, to thrive is to have another chimp at least one or many more many more in order to have a better life so um, in after spending seven months on his own and making sure that he doesn't have any diseases that uh, he could pass to others humans and animals, humans and chimps, uh, and that they would not also possibly harm him with any diseases they have. Um, there's a, I mean, it's a very uh, well-managed, safety-conscious process, and eventually he uh, gets to, to be released into the, one of the enclosures, and he's he has to work his charms on the ladies that are already there. Not specifically for mating purposes or anything like that, but rather just to say that, hey, I can... You want to be friends? Can we get along? Uh, not all of them necessarily are instant buddies. Uh, it's just because they're all chimps don't mean like, oh, yeah, well, we all get along, right? It, it's, it's, not a, it's not always har harmonious. And I imagine the next five episodes would bear that out. Uh, I, I don't know. I have not watched them yet. But... You can. It's on Disney Plus, uh, this National Geographic series. Um, it, yeah, it's 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 a kind of thing. It doesn't really super interest me, uh, but for what it was, it was it was kind of cool to see that uh, these creatures were taken care of and the way they they have distinct personalities and how they uh, express themselves, not just amongst each other, but with the humans that take care of them. So, uh, if you're interested in animals and how they work and maybe veterinary kind of things it might be the kind of thing that you might be able to share with your kids and uh or you could you if you are a kid be why are you watching me um <laughs> uh, if you are a kid you might like uh you might like watching more of these guys so th I, there's no shortage of national geographic animal documentaries on disney plus so here's one more let's pick tomorrow's episode 201. 201. For our second day in Ju of June, this is the first, obviously. Uh, 201. I, I checked you already. Now, why did you close? 201. <laughs> okay. This one I do know is a movie. It's a, uh, it's a digital animated film. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to check this out. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is new to me. I think I've seen little shorts or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going to be watching Gnomeo and Juliet. Romance with gnomes. Garden gnomes, I, I, I believe. Gnomeo and Juliet. The G is silent. We'll see you back here tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge.